Hi everybody. Today's going to be a fun day because I'm going to play with paint markers on dried pour paintings. I just got these markers. These are called Conquer. They're fairly new and they are an acrylic paint marker. I'm going to try them for the first time today and I have three ideas about doing things to your dried pour paintings and the first one I'm going to show you I'm calling it repair. I'm just going to use a white on this one today and I'll explain to you in a minute. But first I want to show you these markers. They're refillable with acrylic paint. You, you mix them by shaking them each time. And the only one I've used so far is the white. I wanted to make sure I got it going before I showed you this. And every time you use this, you want to use a piece of scrap and get it going to make sure that it's working properly. That way you don't get a blob of paint on your painting. Now I'm going to talk about this painting that I'm going to do. This, this was a swipe that I did. The white was the swipe color. I swiped here. I got some really nice cells over here. I like the way the white stayed up here, but if you use titanium white, it's heavier than the other colors and it sinks. Well, what happened on this painting that I didn't care for was the white sank down too far and kind of disappeared between this area right here. So what I'm going to do today with these with this white marker is what I call repair and I'm going to fix this. I'm just going to do a few things here just to show you what I'm talking about. I'm taking this white and I'm just drawing between where I see this white has sunk in. And this is a lot of fun. This is like the old coloring book thing. The only thing I want to make sure that I do though is not just make it all the same width of line because it looks a little more contrived. So I'm going to thicken this line up in some places and it's going to look a little more natural. And again, you don't want to resort to this with every painting. You know, ideally you don't, you have a beautiful pour and you don't want to do anything to it. But I like this painting enough where I wanted to just work on this a little bit. And this is a good demo, a good demo for this idea. And again, this is called repair. And you could do as much or as little as you want. I don't want to go through every single thing. But what I've done here is I've broken up this space with this white and I like this better. Just going to thicken it up here in a few areas. I don't want to go through every single space, but this is probably enough. So I'm going to call this good. And we'll move on to the next thing, next idea I have. Okay, my second idea for using these Conquer paint markers is called Enhance. Now let me show you what I'm going to do next. This is a dirty paint pour that I did on a piece of watercolor paper. It was just a test using some colors and it's going to be a great example of what I mean by Enhance. So I'm going to take, I'm going to pick some colors out of these paint markers. I'm probably just going to use a couple of blues today on this particular one. And here's what you do. Like I said, these markers have not been used. So you want to shake it. There's a little ball inside. Shake it. And then you want to prime it. This one's sort of primed itself, so it's working. Now, every single time before I use it on a painting, I test it on a scrap. So on this painting, what I, I like this over here. I like the cells that came up, but these white cells are not that interesting to me. So this is a good opportunity to use these markers and see if I can enhance this painting. And I'm just going to follow the shapes here. That's all I'm going to do. I'm not going to go outside the shapes. It's just like coloring between the lines, just like they told you when you were a kid. Now these blues, of course, don't match exactly because it's a different kind of paint, but they are refillable and you could potentially refill this with your own type of paint later on once you use up 
the paint that's in here. So I'm just filling in this white. I'm going to leave that one open and fill in with a different blue. Just doing this quickly for a demo. Now I'm going to switch to a different blue just for some variety. Again, this one not, has not been used. This is a lighter blue. We're, we're going to find out together what this looks like. This one, see the tip? There's no paint in it. You have to press down a few times. It takes a minute, but I wanted you to see this. And if it's not coming down, you can always put the cap back on. Shake it some more. Once this gets primed for the first time, it, it doesn't take as long after that. See, I can see the paint starting to come down into the tip. There it goes. I'm starting to see this different color blue. And these tips are replaceable too. If they wear out, you can go to Conquer and buy fresh tips. So what I'm going to do with this lighter blue is I'm going to fill in the middle of what I did with some different colors. Just real quickly, just to give you some ideas of what you can do to play with your paint pours. I'm just going to color, let me see, inside of this I see a little blue shape here. So that's it for that one. That is Enhance, and we will move on to the final idea. The third idea I want to show you is called Embellish. This is probably the most fun. In fact, I know it's the most fun. It's like doodling. So let me show you this painting that I'm going to embellish today. This was a paper dip that I did. I dipped this into the fresh paint that runs off of a, of a paint pour. And I probably dipped it several times because it has multiple colors on it, but it's a good example to use today. Basically what I'm going to do is doodle. I'm going to, I'm going to follow these shapes. This is, these are all pretty soft shapes. You may have other paintings that are going to have more distinct shapes, but I'm going to try and work with this one today to show you about doodling. This is where you let your imagination go wild. I'm looking at this red here and I'm seeing some flowers so I'm just gonna kind of reshape these things starting here this is of course a little different color red but it doesn't matter because we're sort of redoing this in a way coloring having fun And what I didn't do, what I forgot to do, is I shake these between each color and I test them. But what I also have found, I'm, again, I'm using these conkers for the first day. They're not failing me. They, they're working really well. I've used other markers in the past where when you start, you get this giant blob and you ruin a painting. So I, it's led me to test, test, test always before I use a color. But these are serving me very well. And I just wanted to commend Conquer on that. So far, they're working really well. So I'm taking this shape here and just making a little bit of a harder edge. Just adding a little blue where I already saw some blue. Now, since this is sort of a white shape, I'm going to just draw around this shape. This is going to get freaky and fun, but that's the idea. Just, uh, you can just do whatever you want. This yellow is a nice color. Now I primed these already because I, did, I showed you how to prime in that previous one. 
So I didn't want to spend any more time on it. Now here's some yellow up here, a little yellow shape. Just going to do some things. Maybe I'll put some yellow in the center of these and make them look more like flowers. Now while I'm doing this, I want to tell you about a video that you need to go check out. His name is Rick Cheadle and he lives in Detroit and he did a video of a poor painting and then he embellished after the fact. It's beautiful and I have the link to his vid his YouTube video in the description below my video and you will really see a great example of how far you can go with these paintings. It started out as a pour and he shows you how he pours it and then he just embellished it and it's, it's just beautiful. So again, these are just little quick things I'm doing. I also have a link to these conquer colors in the description below my video. I'm really liking these. I'm going to try the gold. There's no gold in this painting. I have a tendency to kind of follow the colors that are already there, but you sure don't have to. You can totally change it. So you can see I'm going around this purple shape with gold and it really, really is changing it. And what's nice about these paper paintings is you don't feel the pressure of, like if you end up doing something that's not great. The paper is so inexpensive, you can do a lot of them. You can take a stack of these with you and color on them. These Markers are portable, obviously. That's what's so great about markers is having paint in a marker. You don't have to worry about brushes or washing anything out. Let me see here. Let me get the orange. There's some orange over here. I'm just going to define this shape. And again, this painting here, the shapes are a little bit soft. You may have a painting with harder edges that makes it a little easier to create something out of. I'm going to go with this dark pink. I'm just doing outlines, kind of following the, the shapes here. There's some cells. I'm going to emphasize. They were a little boring, so let's brighten them up. And then there's some blue around it. So I'm going to go around these little shapes. And you can see you can just go on and on with this. Now these paints dry matte, but it doesn't matter because when I'm done with the painting, I coat all my paintings in this Minwax Polycrylic. I use the clear gloss and it'll make a gloss finish on the entire painting even though these markers are matte. So that's my demo for today. I'm liking the way this looks. Again, you could go further with this. You can stop. This creates a whole a whole different painting, and I hope you'll check out these Conqueror markers. I have the, the link to the markers in the description below the video, as well as the polycrylic. I love this stuff. I use it all the time. Go check out Rick's video in the Motor City. You'll be inspired. He does great work. He does great pour paintings, and his, his embellishment is fantastic. It's a big painting. So... Um, Try the markers. Here they are. They're brand new. Give this guy some support. I really like these. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.